The following champion vs. champion contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE Undisputed Championship! The longest reigning champion in history! Second ever WWE Champion. Now, some say he's the greatest champion ever. He held the WWE title for over seven and a half years. Not much room for debate with a reign that long. Stone Cold Steve Austin looks prepped and ready to stop a mud hole. The Texas Rattlesnake is ready for a fight. Undeniable, unstoppable attitude. We're about to raise some hell, gentlemen. Stone Cold Steve Austin may be the greatest superstar in WWE history in the opinion of many. Austin's opponent has a tall order tonight. The unification of the World Championship and WWE Championship in 2002 brought us the undisputed title. The one title to rule them all. Undisputed Championship is on the line here. The title has one of the richest histories in our business. The champion is representing quite a legacy here tonight. Yeah, the combined history of the WWE Championship and the World Heavyweight Championship all rolled into one championship. And like the title implicates, there is no disputing who is at the top when you carry that hardware around. He'll head to the ring. Able to reverse. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. Clearly waiting for that. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, Ooh, and a right hand for good measure. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Close line to the back of the neck. And he barely evades. Oh, there's a response against Bruno. And this match is all off 
Austin now. Austin firing up the crowd. They're ready to see him raise a little hell. Barely made it back in time. I didn't think they were gonna make it. Stone Cold Steve Austin is one of the most feared brawlers in the WWE locker room, but he also has exceptional math skills. Where do you even start when you're facing off against Austin? Stone Cold enters every match with a massive chip on his shoulder, and sometimes the toughest opponent is the one inside his head. If you can bide your time and wait for Austin to lose his cool, it's only a matter of time before you can capitalize. Caving in the abdomen. One elevation. Austin wards the attack off. Oh, here we go. Stone Cold stomping that mud hole. Champ's got the pin to retain. He narrowly avoids the count. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Elbow drop, shoulders down, championship on the line! No, title still hangs in the balance. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Kick gets caught. Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. And now he's looking to lock in this submit. Bonnie gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. And he sends him into the corner. Been talking trash as well. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. San Martino dodges that attack. Ooh, right to the gut. Stops to legs. He turns it around. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh, attacked in the midsection. Each shot landing with a little bit more venom. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Double X handle. Oof. Uh oh. Improving a bit slow. Uh oh. He moves just in time. This has been a savage and brutal battle between Austin and San Martino, and guess what? Neither one is slowing down. Look out! Out of the way that can change the whole complexion of this match. Big back body draw. You see the height on that? Some hard offense. Front kick to the body, and check out this power. Gets to the ropes, and that's going to cause the ref to break the hold. Just punched him right in the middle. Oh, that's in the face. My God. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Oh, look out. Diving shoulder tackle. The champion into the cover. Texas Rider Snake is overjoyed to remain champion. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Undisputed Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And he has to be satisfied with himself, defending the championship like he did. A pretty impressive defense. Challengers might think twice before coming at him now.
Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? The raid is about to begin. Brace for pillaging and destruction. Looking hungry tonight. Hungry and scary. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. a case as one of the best teams ever. The Judgment Day has turned themselves into one of the most formidable groups in all of WWE. Cutthroat tactics, rule bending, backstage ambushes. They'll do whatever it takes to win. I respect Judgment Day's approach to competition. Why play by the rules and wait your turn when you can just go take what you want? If you don't like it, then stay out of their way. Staying out of Judgment Day's That's business good. might be easier said than done. They're always looking for their next target to annihilate. In addition to that, it's worth mentioning that this match comes to you live from the same city that hosted the historic SummerSlam in 1992. Damn. Goodness gracious. 
No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Looking wobbly in the corner. Boom! What a right! Gosh! Balor retaliates. Snapmare. There's the kick. Now that'll do some serious damage. He's tagging out. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. There's a tag. Oh, flying four. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. And Balor's attack gets cut off. Dark 
darkness, evil, a quest for control like no other. The Judgment Day rules the night. The rampage at the heavy hands of the Judgment Day continues. Everyone show some reverence for Imperium. One of the most disciplined groups WWE has ever seen. Looking ready to dish out some punishment. Well, Imperium clearly are not here to have fun, but you have to respect their mission statement of the mat being sacred. Oh, I do, but I've seen your matches, Saxton, and you do not respect their mission statement. Have you seen my matches? I definitely consider the mat sacred. Oh, my gosh. He's undefeated. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Chase U is here. We're all about to get a lesson. Everybody's hoping to be on the Dean's list after tonight or else they'll be put on double secret probation. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole, you're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on, who am I kidding? Of course you did. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. In 
Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 469 pounds, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Duke Hudson and Andre Chase. Chase, you! Matchups like these are why I love tag team wrestling. Imperium believes that most of the WWE has lost their respect for the ring. They believe it falls to them to return honor to this industry. Sounds noble when you say it like that, but it usually boils down to them annihilating anyone who they think is on their level. And for Imperium, that's literally everyone else. True enough, Imperium has an exceptionally high opinion of themselves and aims to prove they're better than the rest by utterly destroying them in the ring. Yeah, but Chase Hughes looking to prove that they are the better team here tonight. Andre Chase and Duke Hudson are leaders for the entire Chase Hughes student body. I think they'll be leading by example in this match. Using the ropes as a launching pad, springboard crossbody. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. match is going to be hard fought. Caught in a bad position here. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. More power moves like that. We could be looking at a new champ in no time, gentlemen. Tagging his partner in now. Able to get there in time. Oh my gosh! Debilitating attacks like that are exactly how you create a big opening. Held in a perilous position. Teamwork could be exactly what makes the dream work in this title match. Carefully placed stomp to the... Oh, there's a submission on the way. It's in. Figure four leg lock. Oh, look at this. He's trying to turn it. He does. Turns the pressure. Torturous focus on the leg, punishing the leg. Using as much force as possible to beat their challenger's leg down. The clubbing forearm. Vicious right forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Get him into the corner. Look at that counter from Ludwig. German suplex. The champion's down, the champion's down. Oh my god, we're gonna have a new 
champion. Two. New champ. No. Just barely, but it counts. Lives to fight another day. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. The champion just chucking the competition around like they're nothing. That has to claw at the challenger in some way. And full control here. Face for a turnbuckle. Tagged in. Pressure on the arm could limit the champion's offense. Whatever's plan here can't be good. Oh, put down face first. Running knee. Placed in the corner. Able to capitalize on Hudson's mistake. Close line, so effective. The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. Got it. And the tag titles change hands here tonight. Here are your winners and the new Raw Tag Team Champions, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser. And a big time victory for this tag team here tonight. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders. Tegan Knox looking ready for a fight. Yeah, she wants to show this crowd what she can do. The following contest is the Money in the Bank Honor Match. To win this match, the winner is the superstar who climbs up the ladder and retrieves the briefcase with the contract inside of it to be cashed in over the next year, anytime, any place. Making her way to the ring from the Welch Valleys, Tegan Knox. Tegan showing that she really knows how to get aggressive, vicious even. Yeah, Knox proves the old adage that it's all about the size of the fight in the dog. The consummate underdog of the women's division, Zelina Vega. And representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega! Zelina, one of the smallest competitors with the biggest heart. Yeah, now Zelina is sitting under the learning tree of Rey Mysterio and the rest of the LWO. Zelina really has a chance to break out even further. 
Zelina looking to make the LWO and her family proud tonight. The EST is here. This is going to be good. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Hey, Bianca, make such a confident entrance. Let's be honest. It's because Bianca Belair realizes exactly how great she is. Uh, uh, um, Corey, not just great. The great EST. Get it? And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Fallon Henley is ready to speak her mind and start some fights. And from Chelsea, Michigan, Fallon Henley. Fallon's been a huge disruptor in the women's division for the simple fact that she won't be intimidated. Now we're talking. There's nothing mysterious about Fallon Henley. Tons of attitude, and she comes at you full force. One of Fallon's favorite hobbies is to call people out. It's going to get rough around here. Enter the Empress. <laughs> Nobody makes an entrance quite like Asuka. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Beware the beautiful fury behind the mask because destruction awaits. Just check her resume. A Royal Rumble match winner. Money in the Bank contract holder, NXT, SmackDown, Raw Women's Championships. Oh, and Tag Team Gold, too. Shifting gears now, i like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? A self-proclaimed prodigy. Well, it's time to prove it tonight. And from Laredo, Texas, the NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Perez. Before she turned 21 years old, she had already won the first ever NXT Women's Breakout Tournament and the NXT Women's Tag Team Titles. And she has a bright, bright future. Shifting gears now, i like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Get your cameras ready. Tiffany Stratton is here. Beauty, grace, athleticism, and skill. Tiffy has it all. Yeah, yeah. And from 
Prior Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton. Stratton has an amazing gymnastics background. She even competed on the U.S. national team. She sprang her way into WWE after that and has never looked back. We've learned very quickly that it's always tiffy time in WWE. A tough lady and a real lioness. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Nikita Lions. Nikita is unapologetic both in and out of the ring. She's all about taking what she wants, and who's going to stop her? And let's all remember what is in the briefcase hanging above. There's a contract. If you win, you can cash in that contract at any point in time over the next year for a world championship opportunity. Only 20 feet to change your life forever. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Oh, snap there. Oh, I'll say it to you. It seems like that slap might have a little extra hostility behind it. Situations. It doesn't get more precarious in WWE than during the ladder match. Throw in multiple competitors and Corey. What's the key to victory here? To pray that you don't suddenly develop a fear of heights. Because you need to abandon all sense of caution. Don't leave anything on the table. Because your opponents surely won't. Zelina sets it up. Lands face first. Both knees into the face. It wasn't the higher distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show up. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover.
smarter, not harder. That's what I said. Chops down their opponent with a kick to the knee. Building up momentum. Beautiful Hurricanrana. Oh, man. Able to avoid any harm there. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Witnessing a career altering moment for these superstars, guys. But the spoils will only go to the victor. And I have a feeling we're close to finding out exactly who that will be. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. She's definitely She might be in some trouble now. At this point in the match, though, I wouldn't count anyone out. And the end is within reach here for one of these superstars. It is all or nothing at this point. Range down an elbow retaliation. If you can get past the good looks, pay attention to the athleticism. Setting up 
for something here. Spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. And a menacing look from Tiffany Stratton. Running clothesline. That's Bianca. It, uh oh.
is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 501 pounds. So no Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the bloodline. As a former tag champ myself, I know when I see a championship caliber team, and this is the dictionary definition of one. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. One of the most entertaining and successful teams in WWE, The New Day. Enough with these guys already. It's The New Day. And their opponents, accompanied by Big E, at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, The New Day. You know, the only thing worse than this pancake and unicorn parade is that I know for a fact these guys are going to launch their clothes at me. <laughs> Don't be a negative Nancy, Corey. That's just part of the fun. It's not fun. And they need to fire whoever's doing their laundry. Oh, look out, Corey. Look out. Byron, I know you have a feeling in you. A feeling of power, perhaps? Uh, yeah, Michael. The power of positivity is in full effect, courtesy of the New Day. You know, nothing keeps these guys down. It's probably their best attribute as competitors. Very true. New Day does love to roll with the punches. They'll have a lot to roll with tonight. In addition to that, it's worth mentioning that this match comes to you live from the same city that hosted the historic SummerSlam in 1992. Woods with some agility. Tossed into the corner. This won't end well. Ooh. Going for the home run. From the middle row. Oh, actually, way up there. Some the cover, shoulders down. Oh, he kicked out. Very close. The T clearly set again. Thrown to the outside. Precarious position for the opposition. First on the ropes. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Jimmy Uso commanding respect from all of the WWE Universe. Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. Traps the arm into the hammerlock. Into a DDT. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, jumping knee strike. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. And a kick out at two. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? 
Just disrespectful. Well, I don't think there was anything necessary about that. Tag is registered. He got whipped into that corner. Just completely controlling their opponent here. Has him draped over the middle rope. Take it off from the second. Oh, whip back into the ring. Vicious right forearm. Um, handle applied. Up and... Oh, wow! Face first. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Followed up by another to the chest. Boom! What a right! Oh, uh, what a clubbing blow. Off the first row. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah, as Wood's tenacity was fueling him there. Ooh, yes! He foiled that attempt. Steered clear of that. Into the corner. This can't be good. Oh, God. This onrush has got to be draining Sokoa. Yeah, Woods is appearing unstoppable. Tag is made, and here we go. Russian leg sweep. Hammerlock. DDT! Oh, things have really broken down in this rivalry, guys. I don't even know if there's even any rhyme or reason anymore. These superstars just want to destroy each other. Yeah, and while that's a fine motivation for a horror movie villain, all logic is seemingly fooling out the window in this rivalry. All that's driving them is emotion. The emotion to destroy each other. And tag, he did it. Let's go. Big, big back body drop. What elevation. And an elbow to the head, too. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Jimmy saw it coming. Oh, goodness, that was bad. Oh, with authority. Tag is made. Got the tag. Got the tag. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Winding up. Samoan spike. That's one for Sakoa before. And he stops the count for his partner. That's attack. Hellacious power slam. He takes control. Really just laying it in. He's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Getting set up for something in the corner. Boom! Out! <laughs> Jimmy saves himself. Vicious right forearm. for their troubles. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Being carried around with ease. Oh, so called oh, oh, Tag. 
Uh oh, sets him up. Competitors digging into wells that didn't even know existed. You can see the battle scars on their bodies, and they are telling an epic tale. These men are showing everyone the desire, the strength, and the will it takes to compete at this level. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Jimmy gets intercepted. Springboard off the top. Oh! For the win! And the victory! Here are your winners! Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso! The Bloodline! A disappointing outcome for Kofi and Xavier. It's a bad day for the New Day. Yeah, unfortunately, that New Day fighting spirit just wasn't enough here tonight. One of the UK's best exports. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates! Well, Bates made a real name for himself on both sides of the Atlantic. A founding member of NXT UK and now a fixture in NXT in the US. Now, do yourself a favor and look up his NXT UK Championship battles against the likes of Gunther and Butch. Some of the best matches in NXT history. Bate has run the show in every form of NXT, but still has much to prove in all of WWE. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Here comes the Hulkster. And his opponent from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 303 pounds, the Immortal Hulk Hogan! I have never seen someone get a crowd this riled up. Managed to unite the WWE Universe behind him. Well, Hogan's definitely winning the popularity contest, but let's see if he can win this fight. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great.
One of the youngest champions ever in the history of WWE, Tyler Bate has found tremendous success early in his career. An absolute student of the sport, Bate has breathed new life into that classic UK style. Throwing his impressive strength and athleticism, and there's no telling how many more accomplishments he'll add to his resume. Size has never been an issue for Bate. This is a man who's always standing tall. And then the immortal Hulk Hogan is waiting for him across the ring. You could argue that Hogan's career has been built on overcoming the odds. I don't know how many times the odds have been stacked against the Hulkster, Corey, but it seems like whenever he steps into the ring, he's backed by all of his Hulkamaniacs. Now he's been forced to take a breather. That last sequence didn't go as he planned. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Saw it coming and got out of there. Bam! Down he goes. He's getting a little better now. Yeah, it looks like Hogan is feeling the power here. Corey, Hulk Hogan is an institution in this business, and for good reason. How can someone even measure up to an icon like the Hulkster? Not easily, that's for sure, Cole, but Hogan isn't infallible. He's one of the strongest competitors in W. Shoulders down, this could be it. Power throw after two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Oh, Bate was ready for that. Get his press! Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Stiff elbow will break that up. And a reversal by Tyler Bates. Oh, what a maneuver. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Oh! Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a free fall. Boom, right across the small of the back. He's lost some of his win now. Hard hitting damage coming from Bate. Oh, a bad breaker. Right to the spine. Measured knee drop. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Oh, he's been waiting for it the whole time. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Picture perfect drop kick. Now that was athletic. Agility like that, easier. Look at this! Suicide dive. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. He's able to sidestep there. Uh-oh, headbutt! Nothing fancy there. Hogan messing with them, fully really trying to force an error. Just a dominant display! My goodness! And into the count! Two! It's over, Hulk Hogan got him and picks up the win. Hulk Hogan takes care of business and gets the win. I guess the big, strong boy just didn't have it in him tonight. He either wasn't big enough or strong enough, or both.
This is one intimidating superstar. I agree with you, Saxton. I pity those who pick a fight with Braun Breaker. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker! We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Oh, who writes your stuff? Well, this man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. We've seen it so many times from that belt Bobby Lashley flips a switch, and on display, we witness his frightening intensity. I mean, frightening power as well, Byron. Everything about Bobby Lashley is just intimidating. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on, who am I kidding? Of course you did. There's the bell, and this is on. Bobby Lashley is a decorated combat athlete whose power, technical prowess, and speed put him in the category all by himself. Lashley is lethal in so many types of situations. His ability to just power through the opposition can be kind of scary. No matter who you are or what the circumstance, you can guarantee the Almighty will show no mercy. And he has to deal with a man dead set on forging his own path with no qualms about who he has to bulldoze through in order to do so. Yeah, since entering this business, Braun Breaker has only built upon the solid foundation laid by his family. Tonight, his evolution as a superstar continues. A powerful suplex toss! Whoa. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. Establishing complete control. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. Put into the corner now. Knew what was coming there. A stalemate of counters. Wicked clothesline. Shoulder. He thinks he has it. No. And frustration might be starting to set in. Great way to disorient your opponent. Bobby Lashley is certain one of the most physically terrifying superstars in the WWE. Is that power and aggression going to be enough for him here, Corey? Sure, when anyone looks at Lashley, all they see are his muscles. But one thing that's often overlooked about him is his incredible stamina. The physical conditioning of cover. Shoulders are down. One, two, Barely kicks out. The end was in sight. 
Drops the hammer right on the lower back. That didn't go Lashley's way. Spear! Just behold a sight we should expect for years to come. Braun Breaker taking over. And that is no... Braun Breaker submission all the old Steiner. You can feel him desperately trying to find a way, and he does. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. But he, oh, what a spear! Feeling like it's over for Breaker. For the win! Two count! Somehow he kicked out. Breaker defiantly getting his shoulder up in time. And for all of Lashley's power, for all of his force, he could not deliver the final nail there. Back and forth we go. Lashley creates an opening with a counter. The fight is on, and it's furious. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Close line. Yeah, Lashley looking more than ready for a real fight. From the ring all the way to the floor. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Stop after stop after stop. Ron dodges just in time. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And a standing moonsault. Hits him with the counter. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. They need to be aware of a count out right now. Toss back into the ring. Arms hooked. Double underhook slam. That's gotta be it. There's two. And he fights it off. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Ron Breaker setting him up for the military press. The military press into the power slam. Ron might have brought this to a close. Lastly, able to find more power in that endless tank of his to get the shoulder up. And Breaker cannot believe that wasn't enough. Cinching in the hurt lock. Submission locked in tight, nowhere to go, no escape. This could be the end. There's no way he survives. Full Nelson locked in pretty good here. Oh, look at the power. That's tremendous power. He gets the break. Shoulder tackle. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Got to find a way to get out of this. Ooh Bodies must be writhing in pain right now. The breaking point must be on the horizon. But yet they continue forward, showing no desire to quit. Superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. He steers clear of contact. Metal rope forearm on point. And Braun somehow holding steady late into this matchup. Now things are getting very dangerous for the Almighty. Check out this power hoisted up. it down in victory. When you're on Lashley's level, it's always just a matter of when, not if. Business complete. Now it's time to celebrate.
Jey Uso is here and he is a new man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California. You know, you gotta think Jay's in a precarious position, not having the safety net of his brother or his cousin. But ever since he's broken away, he's earned main events and has even won more titles. He has truly become the main event. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Swagger on another level. Here comes and his Moore. opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes is a dynamic and exciting superstar to watch between the ropes. Nobody does it better, at least according to him. Well, I fail to see how anyone could disagree. Hayes has ridiculous athleticism and a skill ceiling that's only getting higher. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. With Jey Uso, you have to remember, we're looking at a tag team specialist who really made a name for himself as a singles competitor as of late. Defying his family's wishes, carving out a path for himself as just Jay. He has truly been a delight to watch grow as a competitor these days. And then we've got Carmelo Hayes, a man whose talent is only surpassed by his ego. Singing that old tune again, eh, Saxton? I don't know why people can't see past Melo's braggadocious personality and see him for what he really is. An incredible young talent who has everything it takes to be at the top of WWE. Catches the kick into a dragon screw leg whip. Oh. Kick lands. He's able to fend off the attack. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Rapid fire Samoan drop. And Hayes' confidence perhaps just got a little shaken. And more action like that might allow Jay to get the job done. And when you're dealing with an athlete of Carmelo Hayes caliber, you have to think you're making it. Can end it here. Two kick out just in time. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Carmelo dodges that attack. Boom! On a drop kick. On the mark. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Springboard! Springboard! Clothesline! Well scattered reversal there. And Jay reverses. Oh, and that buys some time. Flapjack! Way up there. Boom! The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Just breaking down the opponent. 
That's disrespectful. But I guarantee they're going to take great umbrage with that offense. And misses on the springboard. Jay with an opening to go high. Up high. All the way to the outside. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Measuring. Oh, face stop. The oh, deadly face buster. Hey, showing off and showing out there. Insults have been hurled both in person and online, but now they can finally settle things in the ring. It's been a long time coming, and the WWE Universe has been looking forward to it almost as eagerly as these superstars. Their rivalry certainly has turned this into a must-see match. Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. Escapes, and a chop block takes him down. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Looking for a belly to back suplex. Back suplex into the neck breaker. Cover! Two! And a kick out at two. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Uso. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner, in the corner, and an elbow for good measure. This could do it! Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. Almost inhuman at this point. still has some fight left. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. You have to respect these men for taking it to the next level. This one's becoming too close to call. Yeah, it's hard to predict how this one will end. Throw, saying not today. What a bullseye. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. Just hot shot it to the outside. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Oh, here it is. Good night. Ooh. Put it in position now. Uh oh. No. Oh my God. It's on the apron. A quick response to Jay's offense. Hayes in full control. Suplex into a cutter. And it can be all. For Jay. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Action needs to return to the ring and fast. close to being taken out here. Heading up, he's thinking big. Take off, and nobody's there. He went right into that turnbuckle. Denied and reversed into a DDT. 
Uh-oh. Oh, Flapjack. He thinks he has it. No, stops the count at two. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Jay nailed all of it. Two. And Jay Uso got him and picks up the win. Here is your winner. Main event, Jay Uso. Carmelo Hayes suffers the loss. This is a tough one for Melo. It's like missing the game-winning shot. You can't get the image of the scoreboard out of your head. The crowd is singing for Seth freaking Rollins. The best dressed man in WWE and a pretty darn good conductor, too. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT champion, Seth freaking Rollins! He's held the Intercontinental, the U.S., the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. He's back! And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 200. Punk's first tour of duty in WWE was epic. The pipe bomb set off an entirely new era in WWE. But oh, how times have changed since then. Yeah, when you think about the past accomplishments, Corey, CM Punk has been a WWE champion. He won Money in the Bank, so many other titles. But this current version of CM Punk is driven to surpass those past achievements.
shifting gears now. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? The controversial CM Punk is coming to this one, ready for a fight. Well, Punk said it himself. He's not in this business to make friends. He's here to make money. Tonight is just another day at the office for the self-proclaimed best in the world. No one looks more ready for business than Punk does. And his opponent is Seth Rollins, who really has gone through a whole lot of changes in the last few years. You forgot the freaking, you fool. And that other word you're looking for is adapt. Rollins has transformed himself to meet every new challenge he faces. He's constantly innovating and setting the tone for what a superstar should be. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh! Short on clothesline by Punk. Springboard! Springboard! Clothesline! Beautiful! Float over neck breaker. Picture perfect. This match grinded him down a little. Oh my gosh! And will this be it? Getting the shoulder up before two. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Kick to the stomach puts an end to that. Corey, even if you've studied CM Punk before, how do you begin to approach him today? I'm not sure there's one answer. During his absence, Punk really honed himself in various disciplines, making him a dangerous opponent to figure out. Right in the face. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Puck wasting no motion on the counter. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Oh, the elbow connects. Set up in the corner of the ring. Able to get the advantage here. Rollins with a super kick. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Kicks out. What a match. And an elbow. Our sister, look at these series of boots. Amazing sequence from Rollins. There it is. Approaching Punk cautiously. Oh, this should be it. Punk with his opponent up. GTS connects. That's going to keep Rollins down. Two count and a kick out. No one saw that coming. I cannot believe it, Corey. Seth Rollins is still alive. Next level fortitude from Rollins. And Punk might have just swung for the fences, but it wasn't good enough. Picture perfect drop kick. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Impressive reversal on Rollins. Sequence of reversals there. Uh-oh. Crucial moment. A knee of the revolution style by Rollins. A sharp knee. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. And that was a precisely measured attack. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. And up the turn, buckles we go. Oh, my God. Things now not going well for CM Punk. A messianic display of offense from Rollins. How? Rollins looking to end it. Stop! 
Rollins just turned the lights out. Shoulders down. Oh, and he just kicked out. I thought that was it, but the resilient CM Punk refused to stay down. Seth Rollins in deep thought, hoping to conjure one last move to win this. This is all going to come down to who wants it more, and right now, that's pretty much impossible to tell. This is really any... Here comes the stop. RKO instead. Uh-oh, sweet dreams coming. The golden sweep GTS from Punk. Amazing execution. Two. Got it. And Punk is your winner. Here is your winner. C.M. Punk. A stinging loss delivered to Rollins. Pure frustration on the face of Seth freaking Rollins. Things did not go according to plan tonight. The animal has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C. Weighing in at 290 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, the Animal Batista. We can list this man's act. Accolades all day long. WWE Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, a man who has main evented WrestleMania. And now Batista simply demands that the WWE Universe give him what he wants. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Here comes the 330-pounder. 
across in ring. And his opponent from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed! The kaiju of WWE, Big Bronson Reed. He has been on an absolute tear as of late. We've seen him beat some big names, compete in some major matches. I think it's just a matter of time before Bronson really hits it big. Gentlemen, big Bronson Reed is ready to claw through the competition. And I don't think anyone can stop him. Domineering Batista, who has dismantled the competition in WWE. No one is safe when the animal is on the hunt. The entire locker room is on notice when Batista enters the arena. His biggest motivation is leaving a trail of annihilation behind him. But he's got trouble on his hands in the form of Bronson Reed. This big man climbs into the ring with a simple objective in mind, to inflict as much damage as humanly possible. And with his 330-pound frame and jaw-dropping power, inflicting damage is pretty easy for big Bronson Reed. You said it. We've seen Reed run roughshod over the toughest competition. He doesn't care who you are or how strong you are. Bronson Reed is going to tear you apart. Oh, an axe handle. He could pin his opponent right here. And he kicks out at two. Able to squeeze. Shoulder out, so close. Gets him with the counter. He manages to escape it. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Wicked clothesline. Corey, we know Batista's powerful, but has been a Hollywood star for a number of years. How will his time spent away from WWE affect him? Well, it's difficult to measure the extent of a long layoff. However, with Batista, his training during time away includes Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, so his mat game stays sharp. So, the better strategy might be to keep distance so the animal doesn't utilize his MMA skill set. Just look into the eyes of these superstars. They're clearly out for blood in this match. That's what this ferocious rivalry has come to. It's not just about winning or losing anymore. It's about destruction. And they'll do whatever it takes to achieve that goal. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Producing a trampling. Outside count outs legal in this match. And Reed moves out of the way. And able to counter. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Ran right through that close wow. line. What impact! The Kaiju is ready to finish him off. Batista finds the advantage. Elbow drop. Piercing. Slips out of the way. It's that time. if you skip going to the gym today. Oh, jarring back elbow. Elbow drop. Piercing. He may be in a bad way here. 
Yeah, and from the top. Oh, what a landing. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Answered with a shot right to the face. Got the full Nelson. Slam! I don't know how these men keep going. They got to be close to running on empty by now. Oh, God, that hurt. Uh-oh. He's one step ahead there. Batista was confident coming into this match, and that confidence is what translated into him having his arm raised. He's here and holding two championships. Just think about the grind that comes with being a double champion. As great as the glory is, the hard work that comes with it is no joke. Yeah, he may look good showing off the gold, but he's got to look good defending it as well. Otherwise, it'll be gone. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. The ring general 
has declared the mat sacred and sees this industry as pure sport, meaning there is no room for games and antics. Now, Gunther takes everything so seriously, like he's always scowling. Hey, listen, he takes pride in what he does. It's difficult not to admire the expertise possessed by Gunther. Gunther is so unflinching, as if nothing phases him. The man's impervious to distraction because he's constantly focused on the task at hand. Yeah, it's like watching a machine. Introducing the challenger from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunther! And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE United States Champion and the WWE One of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment here for the taking, the United States Championship. The United States Championship has a tremendous amount of history dating back Let to... Let me stop you, Cole. We know the history. Tonight, this match is about the future. The United States Champion isn't focused on how he won it. He's focused on keeping it. As much as I want to, I can't argue with that, Corey. Oh, stop right to the hand. Foot was in overdrive there, and the challenger is rocked. Seeing stars. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Holy, meet the barricade. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Shots to the body, heavy hands. Oh, what an intense striking combination. Nicely done. Beautiful swinging neck breaker. Compromised position here. Unleashed Mike and Force. And a message sent there letting the champion know the kid gloves are off. Rip record. For the title. Oh, new champ. count there an agile escape and that was taking the attack to the competition with that one Corey I can't help but wonder does Logan Paul even stand a fighting chance here in this one well Cole anything can happen in WWE Logan Paul needs to remember every single thing he's learned from his time with top level superstars like Sami Zayn and The Miz he had the opportunity to sit under the learning tree of the very best WWE has to offer and now he needs to use that to his advantage with a counter. Power slam incoming. No. Behind you with inverted DDT. He moved, but can he capitalize? Ooh. Ho, ho. Yeah. Moon salt. Lining it up. What a punch. Out of the ring, but needs. 
needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, stiff punch. Gunther ready for that one. Oh, and a wicked clothesline. Love him or hate him, you can't deny it. Logan Paul can get it done in the ring. The vendetta between these superstars has become so bitter that I'm almost afraid of what will happen here. Anything is possible when a rivalry gets this out of hand. Hopefully this is a chance for them to work through at least some of that pent-up aggression. All the momentum swinging away from Gunther. And as you can see, Logan Paul putting that top-level superstar education to good use here. Anything really can happen in WWE. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Logan telling his opponent to bring it. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. Planning on what to do next. Right across the larynx. Turning the tables there. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, right to the throat. And that prevents Guther's offense. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Yeah. Oh my god, a DDT! Spiked them. Saw that coming. No. Oh, oh. Another one bites the dust to the chair. Cover. Oh, he kicked out. It was almost just lights out on their championship dreams. Let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's lap? Look at the high end splash! The champ will stay champ. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. Here is your winner, and still the WWE United States Champion, Logan Paul! There he is, the champion standing tall. After this defense. What a title defense for him tonight. He came in with that unshakable champion mentality. The following champion vs. champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's World Championship! And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bailey. Dakota Kai and Io Sky. Now, Io Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing they've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way 
of damage control. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. The gruesome twosome of the Judgment Day. With Rhea's brutality and her dom-dom's willingness to do whatever she tells them to do, these two make quite the formidable pairing together. Well, whatever mommy wants, mommy gets, Cole. Dirty Dom understands that simple facet of life, as we all should by now. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this bass will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. We see it there, the Women's World Championship, the reward for coming out on top in this match. A symbol of dominance for the woman who possesses the coveted title. The Women's World Championship on the line here in this matchup. Whoever wins this one, no doubt, we're looking at the unequivocal top dog of the women's division. Without a doubt, Corey, the top prize in the division, up for grabs. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Oh, and man. a slap for the exclamation point. The champion just teed off. Our challenger found no way to break free there. Sent into the corner. Using their boot on the throat in the corner. That's telling your opponent, you don't deserve to share this stage with me. Ripley gets her back. Heads outside, but this one has to hit. Champ's got the pen to retain. One, two. And she kicks out at two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. What's she gonna do? Boom. Dragon 
screw. That'll tear your knee up. Hoping to cut the champion down to size a little with targeted offense. A display of quickness. And you can bet that got the champ's attention. And Io's offense gets fought off. German suplex. Oh, foot just stomping down. What are you waiting for? Get back in there. You tell him, Saxton. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. To the outside. This could get wild. Just a barrage of stumps. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. No secret that Rhea Ripley possesses terrifying strength. Does that give her an upper hand tonight? Absolutely. Rhea's ability from the top. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. She did her homework there. He has been on the receiving end for a bit now. Rhea's putting that terrifying strength to work, fighting hard to get control over her opponent. Uh-oh. Face first. Uh-oh, here it comes. Inverted Alabama. Here's a pin for the title. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Ooh, what a forearm club. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh, now Rhea asserting control. And the upper hand belongs to Rhea Ripley. Sit down, power bomb. <laughs> Saw that one coming, took advantage. Impressive reversal there. Rhea isn't taking this lying down anymore. If Ripley was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Soaring. Broad splash nailed it. If that attack didn't already make it clear, Ripley's doing whatever it takes to get... Retains the title. Here is your... She came in the champ, she's leaving the champ. A tremendous victory by the champion, showing us exactly what she's made of. Give credit to the champion, she studied her opponent and was ready for whatever was thrown her way to retain their title.
WWE Universe God Mode has just been engaged. Three plus years at the top of WWE for this man. Nobody has been able to defeat the Tribal Chief. A reign of epic proportions. Dozens have tried, dozens have failed. Think about this. Hall of Famers, main eventers, crossover stars. None of them have been able to defeat Roman Reigns. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Son of a dream looking to realize his destiny in WWE. The Rhodes name means he was born with this business in his blood. He's finally been able to tap into that, and we are now witnessing his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. There is no prize bigger in this industry. The owner of that title is the alpha of our sport. This is what it's all about tonight. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Now we're ready. The combatants are ready. And this one will determine the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. This is about creating your own opportunities and controlling your own destiny. For many, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship is what they strive for. You can't let the opportunity slip through your fingers. Oh, what a soup! 
suplex. Getting him into the corner. Pinpointing the leg in the corner. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. Cody retaliates. Using the ropes. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh my goodness. Upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Cody Rhodes, oh, right in the jaw. Front face lock applied. Final cut. Into the pin attempt. Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of him. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. That's going to be a moment you want to forget it very soon. And I think something both Cody and Roman have to be careful of here. These two are clearly fired up, going blow for blow. I uh, had that well scouted. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Two titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Looks like a hockey fight just broken up. Cody's cut open, but I think he's in his element, guys. Ooh, sidewalk slam. Just a ruthless streak for the world to see. Now's not the time to worry about rules. Now you know you're in a fight with a champion that will do whatever it takes to win. Out of the way in time. Things have really reached critical mass with this rivalry, guys. The best way I can describe the state of things right now is disruptive. They really don't care about how this affects anyone else as long as they can just get their hands on each other. The American Nightmare nails the crossroads. The title might change hands. That's got to be it. Two. Kicks out. Just kicked out. What a display of stamina. The champ showing they are truly worthy of this title. But things might only get harder from here. Disbelief on the face of the American Nightmare. Sky high. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Card in mid -air. Ooh, treading all. Here's the pen to retain. He got the shoulder up in time. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. These two showing how well scouted they each are. And an inverted atomic drop. Springboard misses the target. Oh, a knee to the face. A bad place to be for the challenger. And the only thing on Roman's mind is to mount more punishment. Things went from bad to worse. Uh-oh, going up. Uh-oh. He deflects it right back. Ah, uh, that hurt. Reigns gets out of harm's way. So to the stomach. Had an answer for the big dog. Ah, off the rope. Oh man, he is fired up now. Reigns cuts him off. He's Cody Rhodes has an opponent where he wants it. There's Crossroads. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Two. We have a brand new champion fulfilling their destiny. Here is your winner and the new undisputed.
The Apex Predator is on the hunt. The following contest is the Money in the Bank Ladder Match. To win this match, the winner is the superstar who climbs up the ladder and retrieves the briefcase with the contract inside of it to be cashed in over the next year, anytime, any place. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. This may sound hard to believe, gentlemen, but I think Orton might have actually loosened up a little recently. It's more of a relaxed confidence. Randy Orton knows he's at the top of the game. Yeah, but let's not forget, Randy Orton can still go to that dark place when he has to. And you don't want Orton going old school on you. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> The Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, has arrived. And the fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. McIntyre has summoned the WWE Universe to aid him in battle along his passionate journey to fulfill his destiny atop WWE. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Now here's someone ready to storm into a fight. First one to enter, last one to leave. And from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. By some accounts, L.A. Knight should never have made it to WWE. Well, he is proving the doubters wrong right now. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. The monster of all monsters has arrived. And from Sherrod's Fort, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! Think of all the titles that Braun Strowman has won throughout his career. Tag titles, intercontinental title, even the Universal Championship. More interested in causing destruction and running over the competition.
shifting gears now. I like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Don't blink or you'll miss Nathan Frazier. And from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier! Nathan Frazier in a short time has already proven to be one of the best high flyers in all of WWE. And he's also proven he'll rattle everyone's cages and tell some hard-hitting truths. I like this guy. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Taking control of his own destiny. This is the newly focused, and some have said revitalized, Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight, and you can believe that's what we're about to get. And from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! Baron Corbin's been a king, a jester, an authority figure, even a bum. Yeah, but now Corbin is truly himself. No more gimmicks. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. And from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, We have seen before what Dragunov is capable of, and it is scary. Shifting gears now, I like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? The L-W-O is in the house. 
It's cool until you say it. And representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar! Santos Escobar is such a dangerous competitor. He came up in Mexico City's lucha scene. Escobar has always been a standout talent, from fighting in the underground to the highest heights in NXT. A background in lucha tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Hanging high above the ring now is the Money in the Bank contract briefcase, which symbolizes so much. Bro, it's more than just a contract. It's an opportunity to change your career, change your life. Think of all the superstars who yeah. earned the right to be Mr. or Ms. Money in the Bank. How it's completely changed not only their WWE career, but their livelihoods.
some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. and lining him up. He wants even more to the opponent. Uh-oh. Going for the ride. Oh, Feeling like it's over for Santos. This has been an absolutely brutal display. To the midsection, hooked up. Here it comes. 